Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Let's take a look over here. What types of heat transfer do you see going on in this picture? Can you figure out all three? Let's see what you came up with. If you were looking at the heat down at the bottom coming off of the fire, you were probably thinking that that was radiation. Radiation is the type of heat energy transfer that can occur in a vacuum or across space. So it doesn't have to have direct contact with either a liquid, a solid, or a gas for that energy to transfer. Did you catch the convection that was going on inside the pot? Remember, the bottom of the pot is heating up very quickly due to its direct contact with the fire. That then in turn is heating up the water that's next to it because we know heat always moves from a warm place to a cold place. So the bottom of the pot is then warming up this water. That water is becoming less dense. It's rising up, going away from the heat source, cooling down and then sinking back down because it becomes more dense. So once you have that round and round and round going on, that's evidence that we've got convection going on. Now, let's talk about where in this picture you're going to see conduction. We can know conduction is going on because we see the hand over here and we know that if that guy holds on to this handle long enough, that heat is gonna transfer along this pot up to the handle through because it's a solid and eventually it's going to get so hot that he won't be able to hold it there. So that will be evidence of conduction going on. Conduction occurs is heat transfer that occurs in a solid. So now let's go ahead and work look at this glass look at the water in the glass. It's measuring zero degrees Celsius. And then the cold air around the glass, which is coming in at negative 10 degrees Celsius. So I want you to think about that as you work through these questions. Here's your chance to show what you know. Good luck. <laughs> 